On January 17, 2020, it was reported that Rihanna split from her billionaire Saudi boyfriend Hassan Jamil after nearly three years. During that time, these two kept their relationship private, but it seemed like it was destined to last. Here are some of the possible reasons why Rihanna and Hassan Jamil broke up. In June 2019, Rihanna chatted with Ocean's 8 co-star Sarah Paulson for Interview Magazine and opened up for the first and only time about her relationship with Jamil. Without mentioning him by name, the Love on the Brain singer gave insight into where she was on the idea of love and potentially starting a family. When Paulson asked who she was dating at the time, Rihanna simply told Paulson to Google it. She admitted to being in love, and once the topic of marriage came up, she said, "...only God knows that girl. We plan and God laughs, right?" When asked if she wanted children, Rihanna admitted, "...more than anything in life." Maybe Jamil wasn't on board with that, or perhaps the longtime couple's breakup was due to a personality issue. A source cited by Us Weekly in September 2019 revealed, "...Rihanna and Jamil are so different, but it works for them." Rihanna went on to tell Paulson about the specific changes in her life she'd made in the past few years, particularly taking time for herself. She explained, "...if you're not happy, you're not going to be happy even doing the things that you love doing. It feel like a chore. I never want work to feel like a chore. My career is my purpose, and it should never feel like anything other than a happy place. I got into a new relationship, and it matters to me. It was like, I need to make time for this." While her cosmetics brand, Fenty Beauty, has quickly become a formidable, game-changing force in the market, Rihanna hasn't released an album since 2016, and her fans have been growing impatient. Previously confirming a 2019 release date, the singer dropped hints about her new album to Vogue, saying that it's, quote, reggae-inspired or reggae-infused. But 2019 came and went with no new Rihanna album. Did Rihanna's relationship with Jamil start feeling like a chore? Or maybe he came between her and her music? Whenever Rihanna is single, Drake seems to appear. It's inevitable. Here's what Rihanna told Vogue about her complicated relationship with the Canadian rapper in 2018. We don't have a friendship now, but we're not enemies either. It is what it is. Well, that didn't necessarily sound good. However, flash forward to October 2019 when Rihanna showed up at Drake's 33rd birthday party. A source claimed to E! News, Rihanna made an appearance and stayed for several hours. She was with two girlfriends and was escorted to Drake's table by security. Her and Drake were talking for a while and were smiling and laughing. It seemed like a very pleasant interaction and they looked like they were having fun together as friends. According to The Shade Room, Drake reportedly pulled the most Drake move by having McDonald's delivered to the club for Rihanna. This party led many to believe there might have been a rekindling romance happening between the two. But not so fast. Another insider told Hollywood Life at the time, "...Rihanna is in such a great place with Hassan right now, and she's at a point in her life where she doesn't want to hold on to any past grudges or negative feelings she may have had about any of her exes." Sorry, Drake. Although he shares a child and has sparked wedding rumors with Amika Harris, Rihanna's ex Chris Brown has reportedly struggled with the news that Rihanna is newly single. A source claimed to Hollywood Life, "...it's bad timing, to say the least, because he's in such a good place with Amika. They're trying to see where things could go with them, and throwing Rihanna into the mix is going to end any chance of that working out." Rihanna is Chris's first love, and in a lot of ways, it would be a dream come true for him to get her back. You're probably thinking Brown shouldn't hold his breath, right? Well, the source agreed, saying, "...that ship has sailed, and everyone is hoping Chris is smart enough to realize that." But it wasn't just her January 2020 breakup that allegedly made Brown think about Rihanna again. It may also be the time of year. The insider explained, "...we are getting close to the Grammys, and that is when the incident between the two happened. So he always takes this time to reflect on himself and see how much he has changed." When the news of Rihanna's split from Jamil broke, Twitter had a field day, as usual. So if you're feeling sad about Riri's single status, here are some of the more hilarious takes on this celeb breakup. One user tweeted, "...Rihanna, if you are reading this, I am free on Thursday night and would like to hang out. Please respond to this and hang out with me on Thursday night when I am free." <laughs> Meanwhile, fans who'd patiently awaited the release of Rihanna's first album in years couldn't help but jokingly share their hopes that a breakup record was on the horizon. One fan wrote, "...Rihanna's first single from her long-awaited album is herself, I Stan." 
Another quipped, Rihanna finally dropped that single y'all been waiting for. Meanwhile, one Twitter user jokingly gave credit to Rihanna's billionaire ex, saying, Hassan Jamil is taking one for the entire team by breaking up with Rihanna so she can channel the heartbreak energy into an album. A man. What? Don't even say that ever again. Check out one of our newest videos right here! Plus, even more Nicki Swift videos about your favorite celebs are coming soon. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell so you don't miss a single one.